Hello, Mr. Rabbit here. I'm back. And last time, we did go for slider, right? And we just trying to add the, the font. And we edit cover, right click, and then UI, and then text mesh pro. If ever you didn't import it, you just click import there, the first one. And then you click that, and then you wait. And then after that, it's okay. It's good to go. It's going to be like this. Super large thingy annoying thing. Okay. So we need to make this smaller. So first we try to uh, just click this text. That's the one that we made just now. And go for font size this one. And just click one. Let's see how big it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's appearing because of this. So after this one, we change the width. We just make it five, I guess. And then five. And just check. Oh yeah, it's way too huge still. It's way too huge. So we're just gonna go for one, I guess. Yeah, I guess. And then just go for the font size. It's zero point four or what fits yeah that fits 0 0.1 so what we're gonna do here next is the alignment go for center here and send uh, the middle okay here okay now we just drag this one try to fit it fit it i guess or we just no we just not try to fit uh fit it i guess we're just gonna click here and hold out and left click here then it's okay now and let's see which we, we change we change the value now let's just say for now we just put 30 as 30 i don't know if it if you can see it on the game try it let's just try to double click this one oh it's not so it's just small though it's hard to yeah it's hard it's kind of hard so go for it scene again let's just make this larger i guess so it's 0 0.3 and we change the vertex color to yeah black and then we go back to that game yeah it's better yeah it's better i guess and then we click the slider no no oh uh, yeah we clear aside there why am i in a game again okay and then we go to our scene and then we scroll down here let's check again uh, it's okay the the white one that you're seeing here is the background it's the background here this one this is the one so if we change it it's here oh my god confusing so we're just gonna go for this one yes you can do a color whatever you want it's fine we're just gonna go for this dark uh kind of green dark thing okay and then uh, green dark is yeah this fine this this is fine i guess this one yeah you can do whatever you want what fits to you and then we go back to our slider again. Mm. Yeah, this is okay. We just... Yeah, we just leave it here, that, for now. And then... Yeah, that will be just for now. So now we just go and re rename this to... Text... Uh, no, HP Text. So it's obvious. So, and then we change the slider to hp bar so it will be more it will be more uh, i mean the description is better okay now you're seeing this plus right right now okay well you can the reason for it because it's not uh it's not added to prefab now if we go here to our prefab right now and collect double click this it's not there and you see it's not there 
so we need to we, we need to add that okay so what you can do is right click here go to i don't know added game object apply prefab mode mushroom it is there we will go back to our prefab it's there you see you just can't see it but it's there <laughs> but now uh let me go back here and go to our hp bar that we renamed it's previously slider and then we don't want the player to interact with this bar we just want it to be like a visual so we need to uncheck this non this interactable to false so it will not interact uh, because for us from uh what i know if it's not if it's true you can just play with it and we don't, we don't want that so we leave it uninteractable we leave it false so that's it so let's see we start it first start it actually control s we save it and then we play okay you see it's there it's doing good okay now it's okay so we did go we go back actually we can we can delete this now you see the the plus is gone after i after i added this so it's okay now we can we can uh delete this one fine so now i mean it looks like it's not there but it's there so this bar right now what what we want is we need to reference it, the bar thing okay so we did go go for actually actually we need to oh yeah go for this mushroom right here and then go for click this and then control t i did go for double c that's how game developer is you, you spam control c <laughs> and then go for uh, this one double click and then right click here face as child okay it's there the hp bar it doesn't look like it but it's there yeah and oh wow it's so far we, just, we change it like that we, just, we go for the hp bar is this one i think it's way too far there let's see let me just make it up here yeah go for gizmo up there and see if if it doesn't mess up or not oh it's there yeah control s it's there and then fine okay hmm boom oh, it's okay but right now <laughs> of course i there's no damage yet and we want the hp the bar to be an actual thing the what we what we put the stats it's now 30 right but from what we put is the mushroom is tw life 25 but it's not 25 it's right now 30 okay and so so there's things that i forgot the one thing right because you notice here i forgot this so there's a life right but of course there are uh, the current life and then the maximum life okay so what we're gonna go is go for prefab and then go for our I guess any any of the two is fine. Just double click here, and then go for uh, unit stat, and then because right now if we go back there, you see this the current and then the max life. So we need a stats for it. So this is we put this is the life here. It's like a, the current life. 
and we need to put the maximum layer so we just put here actually we, yeah i'm just gonna type it maybe clone and then max layer okay okay control it hmm okay now we go back to our i guess we just click here player so it's already there we need it to make it the same later on we need we just we gonna go for a scriptable object so this will ha don't have any problem now what we do what we do is just make this tool similar okay we just go for uh, prefab I guess and go over mob and we'll make it the same again okay so everything is fine everything is okay so now we go to our mob right here and then go to our unit stats and we need to reference the slider okay the thing we okay we go back to here so what we need to reference is a slider this HP bar to play with this this one and also to change the maximum value the maximum value is gonna be the maximum life okay it's gonna be the one and then in the next the next one we need to reference is the, the this one the text because we need to update this text every time it got damage and also at the start so mob mushroom we go to our mob mushroom unit style and then we go for uh here then put our script so we put serialized field uh, private slider and uh screw this y and just control i just press control sometimes to make it disappear and then we go for hp bar i guess the reason why there's an error there is because of package so we would use using unity engine ui should go away yeah it did go away okay control s i just want to save uh so after that we need to reference the text again so if we, if you go back to our UI right here, there's a two types of text in Unity. But what we use, if you if you click here, we use Text Mesh Pro, right? You see, okay. So that so we're going to code it. Uh, refer to this te Text Mesh Pro, okay. So, Realize field private it's same thing and then tm pro and then dot text mesh pro you gui yeah this one then we call this hp text yeah i guess we just put i i just like to put the underscore here yeah, I just put underscore here. Okay. And then go back. Control, control save, control S, and then go back to that Unity. Okay. We go back to our mushroom here. You see, it's there, but it's together, so it's confusing. So if we wanted to make it confusing. We go for space. Add space. We just copy it. And then paste it and control S. That's fine. So go back here to our. Go back to here. Now it's there. It's fine. Better. So we go to our HP bar. You drag and hold. Drag and drop here. Here. It's there. And it's also this one HP tag. Okay. So this is for the mob mushroom. We didn't need to go for prefab again, and then the player. 
Because it's not there. We need to reference this one. HP bar. And also the HP deck. Okay, now we can play with it. Now you need to use that. Just double click and go back here. Now, what we're gonna do is go for private. Void. Awake. As the game object awake, we want it to update stuff. The life and also data. But visually, well, what we need to see first is the HP visually. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Is basically we just go over this HP bar, and we need to update. If we go for HP bar here, in this one, what we need to do is update this this max value. So that's what we're gonna do. So HP bar then that max value. And then we put the max value there. That's it. And also, uh, we want to update. We want to update the value. The value after updating the max value, we need to update the actual value with with the life or max value. It's fine. Because at the start of the match, we want the player to have max life too, not just... Yeah, we want it to... We, we want the player to be uh, max value, the HP bar. So we just put max life on the uh, the value here. This one. This one. Okay. You will see it. So HP bar... value and then we put max value max life and then so that's just for bar now we need to go for the go for the mess the uh, text here so it's this one so we need just need to go here just copy this and go for this one that text and then equals uh, we put the life yeah the life plus the, the string and then slash plus max life okay then we are good to go hmm actually the this coding right here this part this is not optimal. So we, we want to make this optimal later later on. We I need to make a method. So for now we just control S, control save, and then play play it. It's fine. You play it. See it's there. See that? It's twenty, right? Twenty and what as uh, what we remember. Twenty five. That's correct. If you go here, it's 25, 25, it's fine. It's there, right? Now for go for player, it's 20. It's 80 there. So it's going fine. It's doing fine. Okay. So now we, now we gotta go for damage now. But to make things organized, video wise, I'm just gonna cut it for part three. The part two is done. That's gonna be it. Anyway. I'm gonna go now. Mr. Rabbit is out. Refer to my Patreon if you want to support me and or share the page, share the video, or go to my Facebook and then uh, like my page there. Thank you so much and bye bye. Bye.